All right, this is the overview for the 10 week course. This is module six. So after this test right over here, you're going to be at the halfway point of learning in the course. Well, actually past the halfway point of learning, but the halfway point in the course, meaning you're halfway through the weeks of the course. In this section, you're going to have two different things that you're going to learn about. It's really important to understand it because I got to tell you that this is going to keep coming back. And then this is also going to keep coming back. So right here, weak acid ice. So this is the same ice chart right here, that whole ice chart. It's the same ice chart as what you learned about up here in module four. It's that same ice chart over there. And then notice that there's an equation. The pH equation is the same pH equation that you used up here. So we're just taking two pieces of things that you already know how to do and we're putting them together. These ice charts also have like a simplification method where you can get rid of this X, which does make all the math so much easier. And you can do it on a calculator and you don't have to worry about a quadratic equation. And then finally, there's one more. This is just a percentage basically, but there's one more equation that you'll be doing. And it's basically like you take an X and you divide it by the initial times 100%. That's the percent ionization. So that's your weak acid ice. And I'll tell you, the other reason that you want to keep that in mind and maybe like make a summary chart for yourself is by the time we get to titrations, the first part of a titration, you use a weak acid setup just like that to figure out the pH. So you're going to come back and use it in the first stage of a titration. Then you have soluble salt predictions. Yes, there will be insoluble salts later on week after or next week. Um, but at the very end, but um, soluble salts, you're going to be predicting if it's an acid or a base pH, and then you'll actually be using an ice chart. So these ones right here, when you're predicting, it's just basically saying a salt has a positive part and a negative part. And so if you react the positive part with water, does it make something that might stick together? And what about the negative part? There's rules to this. Basically, this one turns out to be no reaction, but this one ends up giving off OH. So guess what? That means that that one has a basic pH. So you'll learn rules of how to split those apart and determine if they should be acidic or basic. Then when it comes down to actually really calculating the pH, you're going to be using an ice chart here. So it's the same ice chart before. It's the same pH equation as before. It's the same setup over here, products of reactants. Here's the difference. You can't grab so this is h3o plus if you try to find a ka which is what this one is off the charts you won't ever find a ka for this it doesn't exist you can find a kb for that and so since you need a ka because it makes this h3o plus you can use this little equation here to flip things around so that you can use the kb converted to the ka to solve the problem out so that's a little twist on this one is that the only extra thing you add in is that you have to flip around the ka for the kb and that's the end of module six